What's up, guys? Uh, episode 19, <laughs> part two, I guess. Oh, it definitely is uh, the, the beagle <clears throat> up coming up pretty soon. Um, <laughs> episode 19 of the Nerd Boys podcast. As I stated before, uh, the guys are back. Voltron is in full force. The Megazord is back up and running. Billy fixed it. Anyway. Um, <laughs> you're, so, you're so stupid. Nerd Boys <laughs> podcast episode 19. We're gonna start with intros, and we're gonna start with skies. Yo, what it is, guys? Um, just happy to be here. Now uh, let's get the show on the road. Rabbit. Yo, it's Rabbit. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> Chrono. Just start the podcast, man. <laughs> All right, episode 19, we're going to just start off with game releases and move on with we're there. These are games that are supposed to be coming out in March, and we're just going to move on to the next topic because this is our second time running through this shit. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. That's coming out. Yes, but I came out yesterday. We were recording on the 7th. This came out on the 6th. Oh, we good. Um, Ori and the Will of the Wisp. That came out. That's coming out on the 11th. Uh, that game is... Uh, uh, Xbox exclusive Neo 2, which is Samurai Dark, Dark, uh, Dark Souls. I can't talk today. It's coming out on March 13th. Uh, MLB The Show 20, March 17th. Baseball Animal Crossing New Horizon, March 20th. That's going to come out to the Switch only, and it's basically the kid version of Sims. Uh, Doom Eternal, which is the uh, you know, the sequel to Doom that came out in 2016. Really good game, by the way. Um, and that's all the games that are slated to come out on the month of March. Does anybody care about anything I spoke about? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I might, I might dabble in the Doom game. I might, I might. Well, Doom 2016 was really good. When you want something that's really a uh, thro- uh, throwback, that, that's, that's what you need. Listen, the Doom game... I think it's cool. I think it's a bad idea not to wait till next gen um, and just launch Doom with next gen. But uh, no, they're gonna definitely release the shit twice. So I mean, yeah. that's more money for them. More money, and it's not like a is it is an exclusive? No. Oh, that's yeah. They're not gonna if wait. If it's for... if it's if it's if it's not exclusive, it's coming out on PC anyway. Who cares? So, uh, I mean, <laughs> anyway, moving on. Final Fantasy VII, it has a demo out exclusively on the PlayStation. I played it. I think Chronos played it. Anybody else? Cool. Um, <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> um, I didn't hear anything you just said. I said yeah. Final Fantasy VII, it has a demo out, uh, the remake. It just is coming out, uh, I want to say at the end of the month, either end of the month or next month, but the demo itself is out. Yeah, I mean, if you already play Final Fantasy VII, you don't need to play the, the demo. Just buy the game if you're going to buy it. It's the same oh, fucking thing, just remade. Not, it is not the just same. Just remade. It is not the same. This plays more like an action RPG game. It plays more like uh, the last Final Fantasy that came out. What was it? The one with Noctis. So it's, not the, it's not the same storyline. It's the same storyline. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, that's 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 what I'm saying. Like it's it's gonna be the same, the same Final Fantasy. It's just it's if if you like seven and you want to buy it, then buy it. If you didn't like seven, don't get it. It's really, you don't need to play the demo to know if you're gonna like it or not. It plays, and I'm pro- it's probably gonna get some flack with me saying this. It play. It reminds me of uh kingdom hearts in the way it plays like the how you have the drop down menu you can help each other only difference is is you can switch between party members because i uh we just played the first exact mission spoilers for a 20 year old game um <laughs> uh, we blew up the uh the shinra um thing at the beginning and i was able to play as barrett and cloud at the beginning so that was pretty good i'm thinking about throwing the gameplay up there and i haven't decided yet Copy that. Roger Dodger, Bruski. Uh, Skies, I know you're not a big RPG guy. Uh, were you interested at all since you missed out on it originally? Bro, listen. Um, um, I, I haven't been on Final Fantasy since Final Fantasy has been a fucking thing. I ain't jumping on the bandwagon now. <laughs> Don't worry. He will. He will. If I put it on my PS4, I'm like, yo, bro, you need to play it. Get- 
because I... <laughs> ah, the sniper. Oh shit, my fucking shit. Come on, bro, I was talking, bro. It actually <laughs> isn't. Listen, for once, it actually isn't my internet. What the fuck? <laughs> that wasn't my internet. Even, even though, listen, you're not I, home. Don't try to listen. <laughs> listen, I think I think it's actually Discord. I no, think no, no, a no. Lot of our this is, is Discord. This is me. I I am plugged by my dude. I got excited. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying I think a lot of our issue is Discord because like. I'm not, just you. I'm not having an issue in this hotel. Wi-Fi is like five megabytes per second. Well, and my it's just wi-fi, wifi at, home at home is a gig up and a gig down. So like um yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't blame Discord for that then, bro. Like yeah, you, you're two Discord different places. Trash. No, obviously your internet at home is trash. <laughs> anyway, uh Chrono, do you want to get your two cents on the Final Fantasy demo? No, just play it. And you'll either enjoy it or hate it. Um, Did really you play have, it? I played it. I, How do you feel? It's whatever. It's honestly a whatever game to me because I've already I already know what the story is. It's just a lot of Final Fantasy people dick riding a remake. That's not even for us. It's for the newer generation. So play it at your own risk. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, just go play the original Final Fantasy VII. Well, I mean, uh, FF7 is like one of the fan favorites. It's like that one, eight, nine. What's another one that gets a whole bunch of praise? Um, it's, the fan favorites are seven, six, seven, four, nine, six, gets ten, a lot of mm -hmm. six, seven, nine, ten, and fourteen. Those are all the fan favorites. Yeah, isn't fourteen because it's like a open world MMO MMO RPG? It's set, it's set in the standards for our MMOs right now. It's actually the it's the number two biggest MMO behind World of Warcraft. Which I mean that that's a grand, that been granddaddy then that then had that spot for so goddamn long. Yeah, yeah, and they came back out with vanilla too, so it's like bringing back all the old players. Yes, sir. Mhm. Mm all right, uh, moving on. Uh, My Hero Academia. I legit just got back from seeing this for the second time. It is breaking box office records and made almost 10 million already in like the first week which is a record for anime movies they are very niche when it comes to uh big screen movies uh anybody else have seen it seen snippets want to get a two cents i haven't seen it but i want to i just haven't had any time to go to the movies i want to see it but it's not going to happen anytime soon and i think everyone knows why oh boy chrono i don't want to see it well, uh, I'm going to be doing a review also with Zen probably later on this week with uh, uh, about the uh, about the thing. So spoiler warning for that in here, and I'm gonna say it on the uh, episode itself. It is uh, if I was to give it a grade right now, it probably with a B plus, A minus. So yeah. Um, moving on, uh, God of War executive, the former God of War executive, I forget his name, he's moving on to Google Stadia as a dev. I don't know why Google is studying, I don't know what's their plan, but, uh, you know, it's been out for a couple months now, there's no new games on there, there's only about 30 games on there, all of them are old, they don't have any exclusive work shit, so, uh, I don't know what was his point of jumping onto a dead ship, but, uh, disguise. I think it's a good move for Google Stadia, um, but Stadia is still fucking trash, and I think it's going to be trash for a long time. So, like, getting somebody like that, maybe it'll push you in the right direction. I just don't think... I think... It's... It's like it's like the fucking PSP. Like, the play, PSP was way ahead of its fucking time, and, but at least the PSP functioned. Google Stadia doesn't fuck it's garbage but it's still way ahead of its time it's very overreaching i think i think they should have waited out on this project anyways and not even fucking they should have hired this dude and 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 not even release this shit is what they should have done mm -hmm. they were so busy trying to be first they didn't even get their shit together yeah right. yeah I, I mean that's the same thing with a lot of things though like with the dreamcast is the same way they want to be the first and it was ahead of its time uh, it was a great idea, but way, way, way too early. And the, the thing with the Dreamcast is, it, 
those discs were so easy to jailbreak. I remember back in the day, I had an older cousin who was legit burning games on his motherfucking uh, <laughs> on his motherfucking computer and selling them bitches. So like, you know how people do bootleg motherfucking uh, movies back in the day? They were doing yeah. that with motherfucking Dreamcast games. So I mean, <laughs> that's part of the reason what killed it. Also, uh, PlayStation Two came out and put its boot up his ass, but you know, uh, Chrono. Ten for that. Um, <laughs> but I agree, I agree with ahead. Joey though with the whole with this whole thing. Um, I but there is one thing I do disagree with. Um, I think him joining this project is a great step for the Google, but it's a horrible step for him. Um, <coughs> I think going this he way. I agree though, so I think he'll be fine regardless of whatever he does. Yeah, I'm just saying it's it's, it's not going to be like a, a stepping stone for him. It's just basically just helping something else out. Um. It's a great step for Google to get him in there, but as for him, it's just like maybe it's like a project for him try to make something that's okay, a uh, great idea, maybe seems promising to get, to go above and beyond. Here's the here's my thing with Google, and correct me if I'm wrong. Google has a history of canceling shit. Google Glass, the fake ass scouter they was coming out with. Google, what was this shit called? Uh, their their version of Facebook, what was it called? Google Plus, whatever. They had uh they let that go. Um motherfucking Google like Google has a, a history of starting shit and then letting shit die. And I, I don't know if any if it's a good idea for anybody to jump on this just for them to abandon it as soon as it does they don't need it anymore. Because Google is one of those companies where they will experiment, but because they make so much money, if it's not making them any money, they don't say, well, what's the point of us, you know, putting put porn shit into this? So, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, he knows what the fuck he's doing, but like I said, he's a God of War executive. Formerly, he'll be fine, regardless of whatever the fuck he wants to do. Any last tidbits anybody want to add to that? Nope. Alright, moving on. Uh, the newest James Bond movie is getting delayed because of because of the coronavirus. It was slated to come out this month, well, either this month or next month. And I think the uh, next big thing is is going to get pushed all the way out to November. Uh, anybody want to give their two cents? Who still watches James Bond? Uh, no girls movie? who want to see a Question sexy mark? guy go do crazy things with stuff that should not be able to be done. I mean, James Bond was the shit back in the 90s for me, but I haven't given a fuck about a uh, James Bond movie since the one that Halle Berry was in. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I, I enjoyed the Casino Royale one with uh, Daniel Craig, but that's only because it had Texas Hold'em in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys. Priorities. Nah, like, did, didn't you hear me? You said, uh... He said, who even likes James Bond anymore? And I said, fucking nobody. Lala does, for some fucking reason. I mean, it's it's cool or whatever, but, like, it's... Bro, it, it's been dead. Like, just, just let it That movie franchise die. has been going around since the 60s, dog. Like, <laughs> I don't want to say just kill it for the sake of killing it, but, like, it's hard for no, me to No, no, just kill it for the sake of fucking killing it. <laughs> No, this is exactly what you need to fucking do. Yo, look, old Yeller might be old, but he can still fetch when he feels like it, okay? Don't you, we don't need to take him out in the back and shoot him, yo. He, like, he ain't got rabies or nothing. <laughs> might have the coronavirus. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Bro, like, I'm in this hotel right now, and I shit you not, I took sanitizing wipes, and I wiped everything down that I've touched so far. Dog, I think wipes all with me everywhere. So. Dude, you guys are over, over, over dramatic as fuck. Well, well, hey, look, whether to be too careful to Better not safe than sorry, motherfucker. Exactly. exactly. I'll tell you this much right now. If I'm meant to die by the coronavirus, then that shit's gonna kill me. Me taking extra steps and being precautious is not gonna help my ass live. Okay. All it right. makes me feel better. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like saying, if getting in a car crash is going to kill me, then why would I put my seatbelt on anyway? But Exactly. Okay. Why the fuck do you wear your seatbelt? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> um, you do, you do maybe not want to get into a car with you ever. Uh, you, you one of the, the Fast and Furious motherfuckers, aren't you? Yeah, dude, I go fast. As, it's, but dude, I was fine. Okay, I had a 13 charger, right? I didn't speed at all. I was I, maybe 70, maybe 75, right? 85, the speed was whatever. But when I have a fucking manual, bro, my six speed dog, dude, I go so fast for no fucking reason. Like, there's no reason for me to be going that fast. But I just my brother drives zooming. the same way. <laughs> It's so, like, AK, remind me to ask you about Avery after this, but continue. I got you. My I fucking, you. you know, I'm in traffic. I go one, two, one, two. I want to go zoom, zoom, right? But when there's no traffic, bro, I go. All right, speed racers. <laughs> um, moving on. Uh, if they want to push, push the, <laughs> <laughs> if they want to push the shit back due to the coronavirus, be my. I don't really care. Uh, I, I don't. I have don't have not cared about a James Bond movie in a long time. If it's not Golden Eye on the sixty four, you can miss me with that bullshit. So, anyway, moving on. Uh, Riot Games, famous for making League of Legends, has a first person shooter out, and there is motherfucking video of it. Anybody care? Um, I think. All right, this is this is this is crazy. So, Overwatch is like, oh shit, you know, CS:GO is really popular still, even though it's been out for fucking years. Mm-hmm. What if we have a baby, right? We have a baby with Overwatch. Overwatch is a super popular game, and mm-hmm. we put them bitches together, boom. And by law, because this is popular and this is popular, this should be super fucking popular, like a Overwatch CS:GO. That's basically what it is. That's what this shit is. Yeah, it basically sounds like Bleeding Edge. Bleeding Edge on the Xbox sounds exactly like that. It's a mix between a MOBA and a first-person shooter. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a five v five CS:GO with cartoon characters like fucking Overwatch. I mean, competition. Competition is good though. So I mean, oh no, I'm not saying no competition. I'm just saying they're trying to take two over two fucking superstars and make a superstar baby. Sometimes it don't happen like that. Well, I mean, some of the best ideas has been ripped off, so. True, true. <laughs> some of the best products out has been ripped off, so who cares? I can't, I, I am not going to disagree with that. I am not going to disagree with that. Uh, Skies? I think it's cool. Um, Not necessarily my style, though, but I definitely appreciate what they tried to do with it. 100%. Well, uh, Riot Games changed the game with Lee. Uh, like it's still the number one game on Twitch. What damn near what ten years later? This shit came out in 09. So um, hey, hey, if they want to flex their dev muscles and do something else, I don't see a big deal. Uh, Chrono, are you back or no? Uh, right. Need to just stick to mobile games and stop trying to get into every uh, every other fucking aspect of gaming because their fucking car game is fucking ass. So. Stick with Mobus, please. They got a card game? Legend of Rune Terror. That shit is fucking ass as fuck. Mm. I didn't even know they had a card game. <laughs> uh, moving on. Um, I'd all of put this on to try to have a bigger discussion, but uh, Megan Thee Stallion, famous for the phrase Hot Girl Summer, um, and, you know, famous for shaking her ass. Um, is uh, trying to sue her record label because basically it's a 60-40 split with the record label. She's getting 40% of all the money she's making and uh, she wants to argue her motherfucking contract. Uh, she was on Breakfast Club. It was a big deal. Only reason why I bring this up is to open up a bigger discussion. Um, do you think sometimes, do you think in this day and age is it uh, too people are too overzealous to get into being you know, famous and don't really look at their contracts. And to be honest with you, I don't understand how this stuff happens. There's too many different stories of this shit happening in the past. But I'll let you go first, guys. I'll let you go first, Rabbit. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I think, right? Um, I think it's them over overexcited about signing the contract so they don't look at the contract. Or this, hey, yeah, especially when the people that don't have anything. Right. Like Tfue, for instance. 
Mm -hmm. He signed a contract with FaZe. And they had this huge falling out. Almost, I think it was about a year ago. A huge falling out saying that it wasn't fair that he wasn't making money or he wasn't getting the, the money for something. And it's like, dude, it was in your contract for this specific thing. And you signed a contract, bro. Like you're, you're with them. Like that's, that's how this is. Like you need to, that's, there is no, there's no way around this at all. Like it's in your contract. And I think people, they don't think about the contract when they're up and coming. They're like, Oh shit, we get a contract. We get some money. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like, you know what, if that's the case, change the years of the contract, because I'm sure all these contracts have a year limit, right? Or how long they are. So why not fucking sign it? Like, Hey, look, we'll sign this for a year. We'll see how things are. And then after that, we can fucking, we can redo the contract. Mm -hmm. Right. Why not do that? I think that's the smartest thing to do. And if you have to go two years, because that's the, that is the bare minimum, stick it out for two fucking years. You're making hella money doing what you want to do. Because they're taking sixty percent, you're taking forty. You're still making x. You're still making more than all four of us in this party combined. You know what I'm saying? Really? Like, make the money, deal with it for two years, and then renegotiate your contract. How hard is that? Well, I mean, at the, uh, I think that's what the whole thing started. Is like she's when she wants to renegotiate her contract now. Um, I don't know exactly how long she's been hot, but she's been hot for at least a year now. Um. To be honest with you, this is not the first time, and this probably ain't gonna be the last time a artist gets ripped off like that. I remember famous, uh, uh, famous group TLC back in the day, uh, the Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls. Mm -hmm. Uh, they were getting ripped off so much to where they was paying for their own motherfucking like venues and shit to rent them out and shit. Like it was like terrible shit that the record label was supposed to be doing. They were paying out of their own pocket. So it's so many different examples of record labels getting over on this shit and how easy it is to go. Uh, well, I wouldn't say easy. It's easier to be independent nowadays than it was back in the 90s. I don't even understand why the fuck record labels still have as much pull as they do. Uh, Skies, are you back? Bro, I got fucking yeeted. I see. <laughs> I, I, bro, I got sent to the nether realm. You have you got no sent to the idea. shadow realm, Yugi boy. Bro, I, I literally heard Aaron. It sounded, it sounded like Yugi oh, boy. God. Not right now. No, <laughs> no, fuck, no. God damn it. <laughs> oh man, that's that's something. I hate my life. Huh? You guys sent to the shadow realm, huh, Kai boy? <laughs> <laughs> that's anyway, so do you want to get your two cents about the Megan Thee Stallion thing? Well, all right, guess not. So, AK, how are you doing? You doing great? I am, I am doing, doing fine. This is just a terrible episode. Fucking fantabulous, bro. <laughs> fantabulous. This is the Bruno, best. Thing do you have, have two cents you want to give about the whole uh, Megan Thee Stallion thing? Uh, I want to say it's overzealous because a lot of people saying nowadays it's overzealous. That's wrong because people back in the days when the Temptations were out were doing the same dumbass shit. Yeah. What I would say is don't be in a rush. Don't be in such a rush um, because what a lot of people don't know is she actually still wanted to be with her team and her team was the one that started having a fit because they felt as though she was going to take money from them. And then they mm. blocked her from making music. Um, and an update on that, she actually won the case. That's dope. She won the case, so she will be dropping music next Friday. That's dope. And I mean, I don't really care for her music, but I mean, I don't want to see no up-and-coming artist. She's technically up-and-coming now. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see nobody's dream get dashed because of greed. That's always wrong. But other than that, like, you can't... My only big problem is people that say dumb shit like, oh, you're, you're a college student. Why the fuck weren't you paying attention? You go to Ukraine, you go to college. That don't mean shit. It's a plenty of smart, dumbass people in this world, bro. Exactly. Smart, and dumbass the, people. And, and it's one thing to say what you would do, and it's another thing to say what you would do in that situation when you're actually in that situation. If that exactly. makes any sense. At the end of the fucking day, it's YouTubers that your favorite YouTubers complain about their contracts to this day. So it's like you could be smart as hell, you go to college. That don't mean shit when you ain't got none. I don't care what mm -hmm. nobody said. I don't blame her for what she did. I don't because she never had none. 
you could be a college student and still ain't got shit in college. I'm a college student without shit. If I get a fucking big ass contract, you think I'm not gonna take the fucking contract? You can suck my dick. Like, fuck that. <laughs> there he is. He's back. So <laughs> you suck my dick. I'm gonna get the contract. I ain't gonna have nobody. I ain't gonna worry about nobody fucking read my contract right there. I'm worried about how the fuck I'm gonna pay off my bills and take care of my family. Like yep. after a while, like she said, after I got the fucking lawyers and shit, that's when I paid attention to it. That's when most artists are gonna pay attention to it. And everybody that's out here going, I hate to tell y'all this, as much as y'all like to fucking dick ride and shit, but most people that be like, oh, there's fucking, you know, it's easier to get known with no label. No, the fuck it is not. It's way harder. You know how much work you gotta put in to get known with no fucking label? Word to Russ. All right, like, absolutely. You know how fucking hard you gotta work? Like, it's. Ryan up church. I'm about to say literally hip hop to get famous in music anyways right now. It's like you have to be a lucky five percent. So you gotta be a niche in a niche to make it without a fucking label. And most of the people that say I did it with no label have a fucking label. So what the fuck are you talking about? But it is what it is, dog. Um shout out to Max Stallion. I'm happy for you. You know it is what it is. Come put an ass on the nigga. No disrespect. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> oh my god, fans, shut the fuck up, please. Uh, Sky, you want to get your? Uh, I think I think what she here's here's the thing. What I'm about to say is going to be controversial, so fuck it. But um, I think what she did is fucking retarded. Um, because there are so many um, so many people out there that are just trying to get like that first deal right they're just trying to get that first deal and they're trying to get their music out there they're trying to get the money and shit but what you don't realize is you split a deal 60 40 right Mm -hmm. um so you know your record label's taking 60 so if they give you a a mill um you automatically cut that down to 600 uh 600 or 570 thousand or no yeah 570 thousand 400,000 bro no, 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 570000 because 43% of that is going to be taxes. That's the highest tax bracket. Then you take 60% of that 570000 um, and that leaves you with, what, like 200 and something? No, less grand. than that. Yeah, like basically, we'll call it 200 grand. I'm not trying to do crazy math. But then you've got manager fees, right? So you got to pay your manager. You got to pay, you know, this person, that person. You know, bro, you just need to... You need to not play into the industry bullshit and not, you know, like think, oh man, I got a mill, you know, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. Like, yeah, that's what they're telling you now. And so you get to all the fees and shit like that. That's why I respect Russ and Russ's grind so much because he did everything that he had to do to get to where he is um, on his own and without his own label. Um, uh, Now I think he has some sort of like uh, affiliation for um for distribution um you know of like his stuff but um he's still you know mixing mastering producing all that shit and i think that's the right way to do it because he is in control of his money nobody else is in control of his money like back in the day like he said you know they would give you a deal they would say um you know we can either split it like percentage wise or we'll give you this much and you pay this like Back in the day when you had to make CDs and you had to do albums and you had to do this and that and the other, like those deals were good because you didn't have to pay for that shit. Now, all someone has to do is load up Spotify and and listen to your shit on Spotify. So what the fuck is the record label even paying for? Like, and I know, know I think I think that's the way more artists need to go about it. I know most of the time, most most of the time, artists make more money off of touring than they do anything else. That's, that's, that's why the, that's why so many artists go on tours all the time that's why exactly. they're number one gotta make that money somehow and this is the best way to make money shit that's what I'm gonna do too all right. like, if my exactly. job if there was one thing I had to do with my job that made more money than anything else but that's the thing I had to do like if I had to travel to make money and I didn't make money when I was home I would travel I would travel my ass off bro like if I have to make money and support my family that's what I'm gonna do and if that's, if that's, if that's what I have to do then shit I'm gonna suck it up for as long as I have to do it and I'm gonna do it mm. well moving on uh, The Last of Us famous PS3 game that went super motherfucking platinum for lack of a better word this game has been 
touted as one of the best exclusives, one of the best games, period, in the last decade. It's getting its own HBO series. Now, I, it, I feel like we're in a video game like, adaptation renaissance with Castlevania just coming out yesterday, motherfucking the Sonic movie, uh, now this. is is like, I, it, it's really good to see uh, some, of, some of our uh, stuff that's been coming for a long time uh, being there. And the storyline is there. So, like, uh, I've seen a couple of Xbox uh, Xbox guys uh, trolling saying this should have been a movie to begin with, but that's that's funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but, uh, Rabbit, you, you want to get your two cents? Um, I'm excited. I don't know what they're going to do after, like, because, you know, Last of Us was coming out with the number two but for the season to move on past the the first uh first video game I, i'm really excited to see what they're gonna do because this game i didn't play the game myself i did not play it but i watched someone play it from starting to finish like they started the game and then they finished the game i watched mm-hmm. someone play that um and it was just like i was just fucking dumbfounded bro i was like this game is fucking amazing I mm-hmm. was like, holy shit. I was like, this is basically a fucking movie. Like, you're basically... It's like a TV series. And you're following mm-hmm. these people around during a TV series. And that first one based on a video game is going to be a great series. And they need to keep up with this shit if they're going to have a longer than one or two season series on this video game. They need to make sure they follow the game. They need to make sure they... They keep up with it. Don't go in a fucking totally fucking different direction with this because it's not going to work if you do. You cannot just change something so drastically and expect it to work. Especially fucking... something that's that popular. like Right. Especially, <laughs> remember Dragon Ball? When they made the, the real live action movie Dragon Ball? We don't talk about that movie. Exactly. My point. Because they went a whole, they went all fucking, they went to fucking China when they went to fuck, they should have went to Russia. You know what I'm saying? Um, But yeah. That's what I gotta say about that. Chrono. If you wanna watch this show, go watch the fucking Walking Dead. That's all I gotta say on it. <laughs> uh Skies, you care about the HBO series for Um, here's the thing. Uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say some shit that might not be condoned by the whole Nerd Boys cast. Um But uh Every fucking game needs to stop trying to be The Witcher now. Like that that's the thing. Like oh just my God. stop. Like everyone's trying to cop a wave with HBO or Netflix or you know, let's make a, a short, let's make a you know a series or The Witcher like, is a knockoff of Dragon Age. Dragon the Witcher Age. Is, the Witcher is still a very, very, very good TV show. You and only you just jumped on the way when the Netflix series came out. Stop it, bro. <laughs> that no, game been bro, out. That game I, been bro, out literally. I literally, five if you years, listen, bro. I literally said the TV show. I didn't say the game. I said the TV show. That's a good TV show. I'm now going back and playing The Witcher. I just my girlfriend bought it for me for my birthday. Um, The Witcher three, and I'm gonna go back and play it. But everyone needs to stop like riding the wave and the template and it's the same shit with music bro somebody threw some 808s on a on a decent beat and now everyone's been doing it for how many fucking years the like, witcher wasn't I mean, the first um live TV action video TV game to be out the witcher is just yeah. the most popular because it's project cd red but there's been plenty of video game live adaptations that have came out that are pretty good just people are dick riders which is why if you would have paid attention i said everyone needs to stop riding the witcher's success it's not about what came out first or what came first this hit and it hit hard and now everyone's trying to ride the wave like and and that's just how it is it's not about what came out first it was what was successful first you Man, know if you don't so, toss a coin to your witcher, to the wave. i'm going to toss a coin to my winter I'm about to say the Witcher wasn't even the most popular. It's the most. It's the most successful. It's not the first successful. It's the most successful of all video games. Like I said, Castlevania is on season three, bro. Stop it, yeah. bro. Yeah, like there's more. There's been, there's been shit out. It's just because the Witcher is like going back to what AK said. We're in the gaming renaissance. That's why everybody's doing that because look at it. Remakes are coming out like crazy. 
Hell, the, the Sonic, Sonic movie, movie was just, really yeah. good. You saying that's a rip off of the rip? Yeah, if we gonna be honest, if it wasn't for the Pokemon movie, the Witcher wouldn't even be talked about because they wouldn't have did a Witcher show because true, the Pokemon, true. The Pokemon movie because, did uh, so good. That's uh, why uh, the Detective Witcher Pikachu did so good, good, and people was like, "Oh, we can actually do live a- adaptations of video games again." That's why. So the Witcher is actually riding the coattail of the success of the Pokemon movie. If you wanna actually throw it out there, I'm just saying. But here's the thing, bro, is, like, Detective Pikachu might have been good, but, like, it didn't hit the Witcher status, bro. Did you like, watch it? Like, no, I didn't watch it. Then your point, then your argument is invalid. No, it's not, because it's yes, about, it it's about, no, 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 it's about, it's about, uh, relativeness, and it's mm-hmm. about, like, Look, uh, this is the or, reason like, why the Witcher hit so hard, there. and I'm gonna be honest with you. And, y'all just had Game and there's of Thrones. Th- no, 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 listen, 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 listen. Now y'all have something else to jump on. Let him talk. No, AK, let him talk. I'm gonna come to the point. Go ahead. This is, this is, this is different, bro, because, like, like, it, it's like the first person to do it right. Like, you know, like, that I and think about it. Think about it. If you think about it, The Witcher Three was a PS2 game, um, and it was a PS3 game. P- PS3 game. Yeah, my bad. Um, and PC. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of like gamers out there that wanted to see that, but like it took and captivated people that had no idea what the fucking Witcher was, and they did. They just did it right. Um, now if you want me to be honest, I kind of feel like this was a scapegoat for a lot of like the Game of Thrones salty people because Thank you. it definitely, it definitely <laughs> falls it's back to the same you, you, are very correct, you are very correct on that. I agree with you on that. That definitely that's that's that, I feel thing. like I feel like the Witcher is like the safety blanket for those people because they don't mm-hmm. know what the fuck to do with themselves now. Mm-hmm. Now that's not taking anything away from the Witcher, but the reality is I think De- Detective Pikachu didn't have that fucking clout, or else I would have seen it, and that's the reality of it. Detective Pikachu held the record. The Witcher the just broke it, bro. What have you heard about in 2020? Fucking um, the Mandalorian, fucking ba- ba- Baby Yoda, the coronavirus. And, and the fucking Witcher, and the coronavirus. That's the so only the, three things. You here's can here's the thing. Wait, wait. I'm about to counter that whole point because a lot of people that's dick riding the Witcher three don't even know that the Witcher doesn't even start from the Witcher three. A yeah, lot of people are just dick riding the Witcher three. The Witcher, the show starts before like the, on the first game. Before the first, it starts from the, the first book. Game. Exactly. It starts right. from the book. Right. So, and and now there there is a lot of those people out there that are like arguing about the fact that the show like like the show was great, but like there was so much they missed with like timeline shit. And like obviously like I don't know all of the information because well, I you get that with any adaptation yeah like, that's a lot of different shit between but anybody who says that's, that. that's why we haven't had uh, a sequel to Aragon that's why we haven't had Eldest and uh, Bersinger and shit like that those books were fucking phenomenal and they fucked up the movie um but that's a different story. The, this but, is why I'm saying these are people that play Witcher three, and never played Witcher two or one, or read the books. Know what the to fuck be they fair, Witcher about. two or one didn't hit the same. Yeah, the Witcher was trash until three. But to even go before that, the show actually hits every single last point. It shows every single event that happened that led up to the Witcher, that led up to series. The first game, right? It leads up to that leads up to all that. The Witcher is hitting every timeline. I'm not saying the show is not good. The show is great. But to say that it's the one that set the standard, no, it's not. If we're being honest, Detective Pikachu set the standard for it. Because Detective Pikachu was the first video game adaptation adaptation of anything that blew game it set game into a next to the next standard. Which we had shit like Red, Ready Player One, and we had mm-hmm. shit like uh, And if we, if you want to go further back, actually Resident Evil set the fucking standard. If you want to go friend, further back, because the movie was trash, but when the first Re- the first Resident Evil is the one that set the standard for video game adaptation, Pokemon set it to another le- level. Then Witcher set it to another level. Now Sonic has surpassed all that shit. So even then, the Witcher ain't got shit on Sonic right now. So I'm just saying, it's a good adaptation. I I, I'm, I, just, I'm, I think I think did he, get, did he get did he get did he get sniped? No, he didn't. I heard. Him. No, we just oh, I, didn't, I didn't I didn't hear what the last of it was. Um, he said Sonic Sonic is uh Sonic beat it all. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. I think I think I think either way, like either 
any end of this argument, we're all fucking winning here. Because yeah. the reality of it is, oh, yeah, is yeah. we went we went from like AK said, we went from trash ass, not Dragon Ball Z, um, trash ass, not Resident Evil, to um, gamer, which was just like I mean, like like basically a porno movie about video games. Um, <laughs> then we had Kingdom Hearts then, three. Then yeah, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. we got we got to we got we got to do this in chronological order. So, um, what was next after that? Ready Player One, which actually was really good. Um, I think that was like the first movie that was like super video game based that did shit like well. Um, then Detective Pikachu had a lot of success. Um, and then now, like, I mean, we're having, we're just, we're, I think we're at the pinnacle of it right now. I think like, I think it's like the Krabby Patty secret formula, you know, like we finally got the formula and it's like working well now and we just need to use like that template and continue. But there's a lot of people that are going to try and ride these coattails and completely fuck it up. Oh, of course. Completely fuck it up. And that's the I mean, issue. you had that, you had that, uh, you had that terrible ass Adam Sandler movie Pixels that came out after Ready Player One. So I mean, it always right. shit like that always. Now, happens. now another thing, another thing that we need to take into account here is uh, Chrono is a hundred percent correct in his statement. If you want to go watch The Last of Us, bro, go watch The Walking Dead. Like, I mean, <laughs> that's that's and that's that's. Or play the bro. fucking game. Like, the game's yeah, only been out for ten years. That's facts, bro. Like, if we want, if we wanted like a cool video game movie or TV show or something like that, we need to do something along the lines of like Assassin's Creed. Or, uh, that was, it wasn't or, Assassin's Creed movie. That yeah. shit was terrible. Right. Yeah. right. I don't but think I'm saying. But I'm saying Creed doing it right. Doing it right. You need to do an Assassin's Creed or a God of War. Or yeah. like even like Uncharted or something or like there is an, there is the an perfect game, game to do works. right now oh. with the coronavirus. The perfect game to do is Division because the Division. Oh yeah, one hundred percent is yeah. based off a of virus. That's like the coronavirus. So Isn't it based on like the small pots and some food? It's based off the shit? small. But that's all. No, that's no, all no, bitch, no, no, no. The perfect one is Resident Evil. Like that. that no, yeah, that's real. yeah. That's real. I am getting that's motherfucking G. Uh, G virus vibes from this whole coronavirus shit. Man, Hang on. Yeah, but that turned people into zombies. This ain't turning people into zombies. It's just this kill is killing them. people. No, yeah, no, no. But the word Resident Evil resonates a lot more than the 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 fucking title, The Division. If someone hears Resident Evil um, now on Netflix or Resident Evil in theaters or somebody. Gonna be like, oh, isn't that there's shit? Already, there's already a whole bunch shit? of fucking like, movies on Resident Evil. We can't use that. It'd be The Division. Eh, we're arguing opinions now, so I mean, <laughs> there's no definitive right answer. But like I said, it begins with we're in a renaissance as, as it comes with uh, video game adaptation. When it comes to that, it's always going to be good shit and it's going to be trash shit. So I'm just here for it all. I remember uh, when the best video game movie was the first Mortal Kombat movie. So I mean, we just came yeah. on. It way. was glorious. <laughs> That's the second one, and that was. Yo, he barbecued his ass. Yo, that shit will be the most legendary. Damn, barbecued his ass. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that will be the most legendary gaming quote of all time. I don't Our next uh, pop culture topic: <laughs> Nicki Minaj's husband got arrested for failure to be registered as a sex offender. For people who don't know, Nicki Minaj's husband is a sex offender. Barely <laughs> raped some girl back when he was fifteen. So, you know, when you do shit like that, that shit follow you for the rest of your life. Well, after they got married, they moved to what? New York? New, New York. Jersey or some shit. And he didn't register. So now he got arrested and he's facing serious time. Dumbass. Uh, rabbit. I'm about to talk so much shit. <laughs> since, I, I, since I know this is one of those topics you can give a fuck less about, I'm going to let you go first and get out of the Awesome. Sweet. First things first. Dude's a fucking moron. Um, that's all I have to say. Dude. <laughs> Guys, um, I mean, you're just ignorant. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what the. Uh, first off, first off, what is Nicki Minaj doing with a sex offender? For one, I mean, her brother, I mean, is, her brother is a pedophile. So I mean, what do you mean? What <laughs> her brother got arrested him. for being a pedophile. She don't know how to hold time. Hi, hi, hi. All right. 
Um, anyways, moving on. Um, but that man, it's man. He was <laughs> just so fucking dumb. I can't bro. wait until y'all say, "Bro, no, I'm about to crack." People are just so fucking jokes. retarded. Like, <laughs> like it's it's like honestly, if we removed warning labels from like everything, these these things just wouldn't be happening. And, you know, Darwinism is a thing that I strongly believe in, but, you know. I mean, would we, though? I mean, there's warning labels on cigarettes, and everyone smokes the shit out of those. True. I mean, True. yeah. That's more, I mean, that's more of an that's addiction thing. Even, than there's a- warning signs on, don't touch this fence, it's fucking gonna kill you, and people touch the fence because they think the sign's... Like, the sign's not gonna do anything, it's just gonna... Oh, I'll touch the fence. Yeah, people are gonna touch the fence. Barbecue his ass. Yeah, right. Barbecue his ass. Fucking what is, bro, what yeah. is that from? Y'all keep saying that shit. It's from the know. second Mortal Kombat movie and it's trash. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Is it my turn? Well, you done, Rabbit? I'm sorry. Yeah, dude, I'm not. Yeah, I'm good. I just wanted to make a comment about the sign thing. Is it done, Joey? Because uh, yeah. Chrono about to go the fuck in. Go, is Chrono. It my turn? Yo, I choose you, Chrono. Oh my god, this was so fucking funny when I saw this. Fucking- Video because the first thing I thought was, damn, he really do like to play with Barbies, don't he? Pedophile ass. Uh, <laughs> Look, they over there walking oh, the Ray Sherman and shit. <laughs> they over there missing the Ray Sherman and shit. I ain't got no type. Mm. Mm. Rapist is the only thing that I like. Yo, oh my god. god. Like... And now you a ra- you dating a rapist? Like, come on, bruh. Y'all over there watching fucking kitty porns and shit together, bro. Y'all watching fucking Teletubbies and Rob Rex together. What is y'all doing, yo? <laughs> Does anybody got the penalty box ready? Because it, need, it yo, needs to be brought out. And then the shit that makes that, it that even shit funnier. Bumped, <laughs> the shit that makes it even funnier. Did y'all see Meat Face? Meat was Man. climbing the fuck out of her. <laughs> that shit was priceless, yo. Hurt him. Yo. The memes of that shit is legendary. I swear, yeah. the internet is forever. Yeah. <laughs> then the shit that makes it funny, she went ghost. What can you say after that? I protect Nothing. my man. I protect my man. Yo, man, protect the little boys and girls. He be watching too, huh? <laughs> that man be already, already. And your brother got this shit too. It don't look good on your on your resume. Look, mm-hmm. the yeah, motherfuckers got the little. They got the little white van sitting in the thing. Yo, he bloody for real, huh? <laughs> He bloody for real, huh, yo? He got clout, bro. He got that pedophile clout, yo. Oh my god! Yo. All right, yeah. Um, yo, he. This, the- <laughs> we ain't making no money off this shit, but we definitely ain't making no money off this shit now. I mean, oh, you throwing that, that word around? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get her ass, bro. And all you fucking Barbie fans, how y'all like that? Y'all favorite fucking rapper is a pedophile. She sleep with pedophiles and shit. Where are the, the Barbies views, at? The views of Chrono do not reflect the rest. Yeah, of the I don't give a fuck. The boys podcast. If you want, if you want exactly, if you want to sell some uh, uh, fire, please go to Nappy Head Millie page. He welcomes all comers, bro. I welcome all. I want all the smoke. I want all the ash. Ignorant. I'm fucking hate it. I don't give a fuck. Man, fuck you, Nicki Minaj. Fuck you and your pedophile ass friends. God damn. Moving on. The last thing on the docket. And this is something that uh, you guys can actually jump on if I actually upload this. As we're recording now, the uh, Mortal Kombat has a free pass right now. You can download the game for free on, on PS4, Xbox, and on top of that, you get all of the DLC. So that's everybody up to Joker. You can try out everybody all the way up until the 9th of March. So if there was a character you was thinking about playing with, now's the time to try him out. Um, I don't see any bad things about this at all. Uh, Sky? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to go back to playing Mortal Kombat, but... <laughs> um, like it, wait, so is it... Uh, here's, here's, my, here's my misunderstanding. Is it like... Is it like free, like you go get it and you never have to buy it free, or is it like, hey, Overwatch free weekend? Overwatch, Overwatch free, free weekend. weekend free okay, weekend. all right, man. Fuck God this shit. damn it, man. AK, we do it. We're on the same wavelength, bro. Said that shit at the same time. Sorry. Just... I mean, why would they get a game? You know what? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not <a> rabbit. 
Man, man, fuck you. Man, fuck that. You know how much backlash they would get? They get that bitch off of all the DLC. Man, what? I want a refund now. I want a refund now if y'all did some shit like that. Like, I can see them. I can can see them getting that shit like like six months months ago. I want a refund. You didn't buy it. I did, bitch. Anyways. uh, We split it, didn't we? No, we didn't. The only game we split. Fuck, I don't remember. We, we, uh, we split, we split K- the whole game. The we HLF split two family. games. A bad time. And we split two games. <laughs> yeah, okay, two games. Sorry. But anyways, my point is, Pussy. Mortal, Co- uh, Mortal-, <laughs> Mortal Kombat wouldn't get backlash if it just gave the game away. But giving all the DLC characters away too, no, man, they get some hate. Ball. They would get some hate mail. Is. They would get some Whoa, hate mail for sure. I, and I, I got the game for never free buy anyway. I, I would never buy another mother Mortal Kombat game ever. Like, you want to try that again in English this time? <laughs> Chrono, uh, it's a power move because anybody that's smart knows that Spawn drops on the nineteenth. So, yep. uh, it's a power yeah. move. It's the it's like what Division did by dropping the game for three dollars and the DLC dropped like the next week, which that DLC is fucking fire. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I that bought I bought the whole thing. I bought like the deluxe package for that Division 2. So 17 good, bucks. That shit's so fucking good, man. But it's a power move. It's smart by MK. Especially with MK not being that evil. It's a very smart yeah. like try it out, get more casuals in, get more competitive players that were looking into it but didn't want to play it off rip. Let them go ahead and test the mechanics, see what they like. And then once the spawn drop. It's going to be definitely a power move because I think Spawn drops while the sale is going on. Mm-hmm. I think we actually supposed to be finding out about Spawn tonight. They're supposed to show gameplay on them tonight. Didn't they cancel that? Uh, thing they're still going to still gonna show the, can- the gameplay. I'm about to say because the event it was supposed to be coming out and it got canceled. Mm-hmm. That was in Chicago and they got canceled because you guessed it, coronavirus. Well, you know, because we black, we don't catch it. We immune to it, according to. I would love for that to be true, but I'm not testing that theory. No, nah, it's not. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. It's five cases in Africa, so. We oh, wait, wait, hey, they, they, they could be white. There's white true. people in Africa too. No, nah, this shit in Uganda and Nigeria, I highly doubt. They there are, are white people <laughs> everywhere. That's racist as fuck. They it white. Is white people everywhere. I mean, they <laughs> albino. They albino white men at that point. But uh, albino the Mexicans. <laughs> they albino at that point. Let me stop. So like, Nappy head, Millie said racist things. No, this is banter. This is banter, yo. Anyway, uh, I think that's everything we got for tonight. Uh, I, I, no I think questions. We had, we we had one question. Um, let me pull it back up. I gotta find it. I had a question, but it's a rehash of what we said last week. Fuck it, do it. Uh, I'm I got one question it. too. All right, go ahead and ask your question. Let me pull mine up. It's regarding uh, Fast and the Furious. Um, huh, oh this is from Nick at work, and he said, "How do you guys feel about Fast and the Furious being a the?" The tenth movie being a two-parter, do you guys think this movie franchise should die? I know you guys touched on this earlier, but I, I just want a more comprehensive view with everybody on there because I think somebody was missing for that episode. And that's I th- Nick at Whirlpool. I think, um, I think with this two-parter, they're going to end it there. I think because they're doing a two-parter, so. they're ending it because I think I was talking to someone a while ago, and they Snipe. said that they signed, they signed like a. Um, <laughs> Headshot. Um. <laughs> but <laughs> they said. Go <laughs> off. They here, said bro. they said they signed like a ten movie contract with the Fast and the Furious. So with this last movie being two parts long, I think that's gonna end the series there, and they're gonna they're gonna be done with it. I mean, that doesn't include spinoffs or whatever the fuck they do after that. But the Fast and the Furious is gonna die with this last movie. Oh, uh, with, with two parts. Um, I think it's gonna reach its uh reach its quota for what they set it to be, and it's gonna be done. Um, even they're even they're tired of making the fucking same movie over and over again. Why do you think they added fucking the rock and 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 jumping off trains and shit? They're just trying to come up with shit to keep they kill interested. people and bringing them back. And just, yeah, Whoa. yeah. They turned into a whole Overwatch. They brought they they brought Mercy over there, brought him back, ass back to life. <laughs> uh, Chrono. Uh, fuck that movie. I'm tired of seeing the inflatable two man revived characters and shit in that movie. Uh, yeah, that's it. Guys, are you back? 
Guess not. Um, <laughs> I'm up and then my heat go no off. <laughs> I heard he do that sneaky talk. <laughs> I heard he was a sneaky dog. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question you had, uh, Carl? What was the first game you completed 100% side missions and all? Ooh, shit. Uh, I will answer that first, I guess. The first game I completed 100% is the Kirby on Super Nintendo. Um, Which Kirby, one? The Super All-Star, the one with the yo-yo ability. My favorite ability Kirby ever had. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one that had like eight games and shit in it? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, 100%, 100% all side missions abilities. I did everything. Are we saying like any system, any time? Any or, system, any time, regardless. Whenever the first time you completed a game. Oh, 100%. Only reason I remember that is because I literally 100% completed that game today. <laughs> 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 like I, I finally brought a Switch. I beat Pokemon. Uh, Bebe is going to be the new fairy type gym leader if people weren't paying attention. <laughs> but. Um. Yeah, I completed the Kirby game 100% today. So that's the first game I ever completed 100%. Uh, Rabbit? Yo, I I don't fucking know, bro. Give me, give me, give me, give me a call, give me, a, give me a minute. Give me a minute. You go ahead and go. AK, you go. I think I got one. Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could, compl- it was Spider Man, but it wasn't the one on. The first game I completed was Spider Man for the PS1. Where they had Stan Lee narrating the beginning of it and shit. It was also on the 64. Uh, but yeah, that was the first game I ever completed. I remember getting all the motherfucking comic books, getting all the goddamn uh, extra costumes and shit. Uh, that was when I was... A, that was around the same time when the 90s uh, Spider-Man cartoon was out. That's the only reason why I really loved that motherfucking game. You know what? I lied. I lied, guys. Y'all know what the first game I completed 100%? Mm-hmm. Tekken 3. Oh yeah, getting all the goddamn characters. Getting all the characters and cool and gone. Yeah, yeah, that's our first game. I'll be a hundred percent. Oh, so, dude, I got right, you guys ready. Ready? Go ahead, rabbit. Um, my first game I ever completed was uh, Bible Black. Oh my Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, I one hundred percent completed that too. Hey, <laughs> I'm a holy man. I did not watch Bible <laughs> Black. I, I, DLC. I had <laughs> DLC characters unlocking everything. Yeah, the season pass and everything. Season yeah. pass. I bought the season pass. All the loot boxes and everything. Mm-hmm. All the characters. I put all my money into that shit, yo. That was fun. <laughs> but, um, well spent. Mm-mm. The first mm-hmm. game I uh, Zelda for the uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, for the Super Nintendo. Zelda, okay, Zelda, I retract Zelda. my previous statement where I just went was the fucking Shadow Realm. <laughs> that, that place, fucking horrible. Hey, 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 look who Fast and Furious brought back from the dead now, Joey. Well, inflatable tube, man. Heroes <laughs> never die. <laughs> yeah, Not again, in bro. Too, like, yeah. Uh, yo, this, yo, this sniper's got Joey's head straight in his skull. Man, bro. what? He going for a Moab next. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's gonna get a nuke. Dude's gonna get a nuke. Oh, you gonna hear in the chat. It's tactical nuke. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Man, this shit's so dumb. <laughs> this shit's so motherfucking It's gonna be dumb. the tactical nuke on the new Call of Duty, too. When you get 25 kills in motherfucking ground wars, yo. <laughs> Like, oh, no. all right, uh, let's get your little two um, cents on the questions. Uh, I don't even know what the fucking question was. <laughs> so, um, what game did you beat 100%? The, the first, first game time? you beat 100%. The first game I beat 100%. It, it, you can go back um, when you were a child, preferably. Uh, fuck, man. Um, Super Punch Out, probably. You beat Mike Tyson? Tyson? You beat Mike yeah. Tyson? Man, I beat him. I was, that. That game is not that hard. hard. When- Figure out the fucking how to do it, bitch. Yo, I can. I still can't beat Mike Tyson today. 
Bro, I can't get to Mike Tyson without the motherfucking cold. I ain't gonna hold. Right? <laughs> right? Nah, I, my man, I was beating but he said ass. Super punch out. Super punch out. You talking about the one on the Super Nintendo? Nintendo? No, 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 Nintendo. no. I, I've, I've beaten both. I've beaten Mike Tyson's punch out and Super Punch Out. I'm about to say the Super Punch Out is harder than the Mike Tyson one. Honestly. It is. Mm -hmm. The the two guys at the end are fucking mm -hmm. assholes. And that dumb, like, dude, woman, whatever you want to call it, that, like, whips its hair around and shit. Wait a minute. Fucking. Transgender? Yeah. Those aren't the right pronouns. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Listen, I, hey, y'all can come after me if you want. Go play the game. Tell me it, what gender that person would like well, me to Well, to call be fair, them. Grand Blue has a transgender game. Why like, it's blatant as hell? She a transgender too. I gotta go look. I, I know didn't... exactly what you're talking about. I, I didn't. didn't even... I'm sorry, Zangi. Looking off. Apparently, that's what y'all was hearing in the background. The shit. <laughs> if Zarya and Zangi was to have a motherfucking transgender child, yeah, it, it would be Ladiva. It would be Ladiva. <laughs> look up. Matter of fact, I gotta. When I get on tonight, I'm gonna check that out because I bought the. <laughs> oh, you brought it. I'm about to yeah. send you a picture of how she looks. I bought it. No, she got a whole no, ass beard. No, she got a beard with cleavage. Like, oh, <laughs> she's like, my beard is gone. Got to boot it up. No, 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 no. Imagine Zarya with her cleavage out and a whole fucking beard. Yo, Zarya is a man bitch. I don't give a fuck what no, anybody says. No, this is worse than Zarya. This is what I'm saying. Zarya. Zarya will straight up beat my fucking. Zarya no. will rape me. The fuck? <laughs> oh, <laughs> y'all about to get us. People gonna stop wanting to see us, bro. Hey, look, man, you can say the shit all the time. Let us open up the goddamn it. But I don't, I don't, I'm not Pierre Millie. I say ignorant shit. Uh, AK, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm rapping. I sit here and say stupid shit. I'm just here. Oh, uh, Skies, the other thing was, uh, uh, how do you feel about, uh, the, uh, the Fast and the Furious movies being a two parter? Do you think they're done? Are you tired of them? Yada, yada, yada. Um, bro, the, uh, the I'm last Fast and Furious movie before. should have been should have been when when Paul died. And that's a uh, that's how I've always felt. Fact. I agree. All like, right. That's just how it is. Okay. Um. Anybody got any last things they want to say before we get the outro? Um. Hopefully, uh, next week the the issues with Discord is fucking done. <laughs> It did. It was an update. It just happened. like earlier this week. That might have something to do with it. Who oh knows? yes, I seen that fucking picture, Chrono. Somebody put that in the fucking chat, didn't they? Mm. Yep. That's, yeah, I was. I was, hella, I was hella confused. <laughs> that's Ladiva, and she one of the best characters in the game too. <laughs> mm. Anyway, um, <laughs> Aaron said I ain't touching that. I ain't touching that. Um. <laughs> Uh, uh, we're gonna start with outros, and uh, we're gonna start with you first, Rabbit. Yo, yo, it's your boy Rabbit, aka Carrot Juice, aka DJ Cotton Balls. Oh, so we <laughs> we appreciate y'all listening. We holla at you later. Uh, Skies, go ahead and get your Cumulonimbus shit. Ah, uh, this is Skies, aka Cumulonimbus, aka Weatherman J. Um, uh, I gotta go. Um, get this bath ready. Um, so. Uh, let's let's get the fuck on. The soap and action tonight, huh? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Hell up over there, yo. That's, it uh, smell like dub Irish, over there, bro. That's Irish Spring over there. Oh <laughs> 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 yo, oh my god. Irish Springs and hot tamales, bro. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> I, nope, I'm done. I'm I love done. you, Alexa. <laughs> hey, hey, what about what about Old Spice? She ain't even here yet. She ain't Old Spice. They said Old Spice, motherfucker, gonna have Terry Crews. He's gonna bust in the room, start titty dancing, bro. <laughs> Oh my god! They gonna have a little whip. Hey, hurry up and make hurry up and make my nephew so I can so I can take him for pickup. Uh, hold, hold it, hold it, calm down. <laughs> no, no, no! I need to train my nephew, man. Okay. You already pick up. Like dog. I told you, like I told you, I'm gonna throw him at the first cliff I see when he turns four. <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Kronos used to be in the piccolo. He got how many nephews? 
Shit, I don't lost count, dog. <laughs> I, He's like, I can't count past my fingers and my toes. At this point, I don't need to have fucking children because my sister's got enough of them to follow me, man. Oh? So, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Chrono? Uh, I hate all of you. You know. We love you, you too, suck. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back next week. You know, hate me or love me. The underdog's on top. And uh, Nicki Minaj, stop messing with them pedophiles, man. You can do better, sis. Put that out there. You need and, to go uh, back and meet me, to be honest with you. For real. Oh, and, uh, oh, last so but not that. least, uh, I got third and place. And Jay's been trying to get in them walls for years, so you been going ahead and let him go. Look, Ouch. and last but not least, I got third place in the MK tournament last week. Shout What's out like to AK for being one of my victims. You know, uh, I'll probably take first place tomorrow night at Dub City, so we'll see. Anyways, that's a cop's coming for you because you lying. No, is, I didn't get third that, place. Ask him. Is, Ask is, AK. is Rue place. gonna be there tomorrow? I beat Rue yesterday. <laughs> I mean, I beat Rue in the tournament. I beat Rue. He, he did. He did, and it's on tape. <laughs> um, uh, AK here. Um, be looking out for the My Hero Academia review coming out right after this, and uh, I might throw my gameplay up from Final Fantasy. I'm still debating the weapon. I feel like editing that. Um, other than that, it's the Nerd Boys podcast uh, episode twenty. Spectacular is going to be next week. Uh, hopefully, we can try to see if we can do that live. That'll be dope. Uh, uh, but uh, Nerd Boys podcast episode nineteen. We out of here. Yo, yo, peace to deuce.